We're uh, here in Brainerd, Minnesota uh, for round two and three of the WPSA Nationals. It was supposed to be in Canterbury actually, but it was postponed until March. Now we're here um, and it's a doubleheader. Despite the freezing temperatures, thousands of enthusiasts showed up to support their favorite racers. And Sledhead 24-7 showed up to see how their 2007 podium picks would fare in both the second and third rounds of the WPSA Snowcross Tour. Strategy this weekend is uh, just going to try to make the final. And uh, if we can get on the front row, I think that would be a huge goal. Um, and then try to win some qualifiers and, and win a final. Man, that's maybe a little too early yet, but we'll see. This would be April's first pro women's final of the season. I was kind of looking forward to it so I could see how where I was compared to the other women racers. My second heat, um, I ended up third. That put me in the ninth spot for the final. Things didn't go exactly as she had hoped. We've been having some trouble with our sled this weekend. It's been bogging a lot in the corners and off the start. I think it had something to do with the cold temperature and the snow dust. Right before my race, we were working right up until just about the time that I went up and got onto the line to get my sled in condition to you know, get ready to race. In the final, we had to have a restart, and I was in the fourth spot. And I ended up finishing that race, I believe, in fifth. It was really fun to have all my friends there and supporting me and be, hang be able to hang out with them. But it had a hard time being that it was a national and there's a lot of pressure to get in. It was hard for me to get in my zone, I guess, and get concentrated on racing. Next time, I'm just going to try to have fun and not worry so much about how I'm doing out there. Just enjoy it for what it is. Both Robbie and Levi qualified for Saturday's Pro Open Final. At the last national event in Duluth, Levi went home with the number two spot as he and Polaris dominated the competition. Tell me about what just happened. Second place. I got a second. I'm on the podium. Super pumped. Hopefully, Polaris in general, we can just keep reeling off podiums like that. That'd be awesome. And this time around, things were little different. Launch and Levi launched himself to another podium spot along with his Polaris teammate, TJ Gula, taking third place and first place, respectively. Robbie, on the other hand, had another disappointing day. But lucky for him, there would be another Pro Open final just 24 hours later. I just don't count me out because we got a lot of stuff. Uh, just give us some time, basically, is all I'm asking. Is we're gonna we're gonna be there, and I'll be back uh, winning winning races and winning championships uh, soon enough. It's just gonna take some time, so bear with me. After three hard-fought rounds of qualifiers, Robbie and Levi both found themselves again in the final race of the afternoon. And today's championship was one for the history books. As soon as the green flag dropped, Robbie jumped out in front of the pack and never looked back. You know, it's a tough track and it's, it's a tight track too, so I figured if I just kind of put my time in and did my laps and consistency was going to win it. 20 laps later, he leapt over the finish line on a four-stroke powered snowmobile claiming the first victory ever for a four-stroke in a national snowcross competition. Uh, going into it, I felt, you know what, I just need to get a good start, and uh, I got a good start, and I won it, so. Hey, and don't be modest. When you crossed that finish line, what were you thinking? Oh, don't man. be modest. Oh, man, I was just so pumped. It was, uh, anybody who ever doubted my decision to go to Yamaha and with the four stroke in the future was like, this is some sweet revenge on that, but uh, that's not what this is about. This is just uh, this is uh, a good time. So. Robbie Melanowski and Yamaha had accomplished what many said couldn't be done, and they did it by just the third event of the season. It wasn't years down the line. The future was now. This is just the beginning for you, Robbie. We are so proud of you, and we are so lucky to be working with you. Oh, thank you. It's fun to work with you, too. Love you, Robbie. <laughs> And as for Levi. It was a rough start for me. I didn't get off the line very well. Got tangled up in the first turn and pretty much went right to the back. So I had to work my way through the pack. Super hard to see. So it took me a while to kind of get into my groove. Um, and once I got into it, I started picking guys off. But 
I don't even know where I ended up. <laughs> it wasn't on the podium, so. <laughs> the next time we check in with these racers will be at Winter X Games 11. You won't want to miss all the Sledhead 24-7 action. As Robbie Malinowski proved again today, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to going out to the X Games. The uh, X Games are so rad. I love going out there. Beautiful, beautiful area. The van is super awesome, and we'll see you in Aspen. <laughs> Thank you. Artiva, Z1R, Trucking. What do these leading power sports brands have in common? Uncompromising performance. Unbelievable comfort. Untouchable quality. Parts Unlimited. Contact your local Parts Unlimited dealer today for information on the full line from Arctiva, Z1R, and Truckee Winter Sports Gear. Parts Unlimited. We support the sport.